I was live streaming yesterday and people had seen my storage in Modern Warfare 3 zombies and they were like, how did you get all that stuff? I've got tons of ray guns and flawless crystals. And I was like, yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and make a video and show you guys how we did it. This is really easy to do and it still works after all the patches. But first, I wanna give a massive shout out to the sponsor of this video, G2A.com. I love these guys. They help support my channel and keep me going when there's downtime for zombies and I cannot thank them enough. You can absolutely dive into a world of digital entertainment with our fantastic partners at Gate to Adventure, your go-to adventure terminal. Right now, we've got something special for you. Head over to G2A's Black Friday page at g2a.com forward slash back dash Friday for an absolute treasure trove of discounted digital entertainment. Now, let me clarify, G2A, also known as Gate to Adventure, offers a variety of digital goods from software to video games and even gift cards for all kinds of platforms like Amazon, Netflix, Tinder, and more. It's not just a marketplace, it's your adventure terminal with instant delivery. For example, right now you can get Modern Warfare 3 at some pretty nice discounts. There are some that go up to 26% off. And the best part is that all these great deals do come with instant delivery. If you guys want to check out their incredible discounts, I'll have the link in the description and also the pinned comment. So back to the duplication trick. This is using the Tombstone Money duplication trick. And you can basically duplicate the items in your stored backpack. Now there are some nuances to this, but I'll show you guys basically what we've done and what does work. When it comes to duplicating items in your stored backpack, it's not an exact science, but we've gotten pretty close to understanding how to make it work. So what we wanted to do was duplicate a lot of flawless crystals and have them stored up in our stash. The tier three crystals for us seem to be the best thing to duplicate and keep in our stash because it gives you a level three pack a punch and that saves you 30,000 points. And shout out to tag935, him and I spent hours and hours doing this to fill up both of our inventory. I'll be showing you guys the two player method. There is a solo method, but it is a lot harder and I'll talk more about that later. And I'll also show you guys later on where we found all of our crystals. So the first thing you wanna do is get what you wanna duplicate and get it into your rucksack and then make sure you have tombstone purchased and you have drink it. Right here we've managed to acquire five flawless crystals so I've put them all into my backpack and I've drank tombstone and now what I'm going to do is down myself with the crystals in my backpack. Whatever you want to duplicate again you have to down yourself with those items in your backpack. That way it puts it into the tombstone and that's when it starts duplicating. There are some things we don't fully understand about this. Sometimes it will duplicate items and sometimes it doesn't. And it seems like slot one has some difficulty in duplicating items. So I would avoid putting things in slot one and maybe just stick to slot two, three, four, and five. For us to make sure we don't lose items and they do duplicate, we only use slot two and three. But right here, I have five crystals in my inventory. I've downed myself. I'm going to completely bleed out. Don't let anybody revive you and don't exfil, obviously. So I've come right back into the game and I've opened the tombstone and I've got the five crystals. So now what I'm gonna do is drink another tombstone. Now I'm gonna drop all five crystals on the ground before I down myself. I've already imprinted the tombstone with a previous game and it thinks it needs to give me crystals every time I come in. So now it's safe to drop all the crystals on the ground and Tag is going to pick them up and exfil with them and go back to the main menu and put them in his stash. So right here I have nothing in my backpack. I've dropped all five crystals. I am downing myself and then I'm going to come right back in and see what the tombstone gave me back. When I came back in it gave me four out of the five crystals back which is a pretty successful duplication. And and at this point on, we only duplicated this four and it was successful every time. It kept giving me four over and over again. And we've tested this a bunch and we can't quite figure out exactly what it's doing, but we did come to the conclusion that slot two and three is really safe to duplicate in. So when you first come in to imprint your tombstone and down yourself, I would put those items in slot two and three. And then when you down yourself again, over and over again to duplicate, make sure there's nothing in slot two or three when you do that. I would just make sure your backpack was completely empty when you down yourself when you go to duplicate. The first time you do it with the imprint is fine. Slot two and three, make sure they're in there. But after that, empty out your back 
pack completely to make sure nothing is in slot two or three that might replace and delete those other duplicated items. So right here, I went back into the game and it duplicated those four crystals once again. And now we have a total of 13 crystals that we've duplicated and collected. Also with this two player method, we do this by the free tombstone perk. The player that is collecting the duplications will bring in a sniper and just grab that tombstone off that bunny and then give it to the player that will be downing themselves. And this makes this a really fast process to do right here at the free tombstone perk. That way you're not chasing down the tombstone machine. Another thing we had a lot of success in duplicating was the ray gun. And we got the ray gun schematic from one of the abomination contracts in the red zone. And we just made a ray gun and then brought it in and started duplicating it. And we had a lot of success with duplicating the ray gun. It seemed to be really easy to do. We never lost ray guns. They always duplicated every time. Time. One thing we've not been able to duplicate is the Wonder Waff. I picked up a Wonder Waff from a tier one infection zone crystal box and we could not get this thing to duplicate. We tried everything. We tried it so much that we eventually lost it and it deleted it from our tombstone. We have no idea why some items duplicate and why some don't. And other people might have different experiences where the Wonder Waff duplicates just fine for them. But yeah, the flawless crystals do duplicate really well for us and places we've found them is in the pay respects mound in the red zone. We stripped a legendary weapon that that was popped three times with an AAT on it or ammo mod and the mound gave back a flawless tier three crystal and we've had this happen a couple of times. I got another one as a reward in the tier two area just doing a contract and then I got another one by killing an abomination that was a contract in the red zone and we were just saving them up and we're like yeah we're gonna go in and start duplicating them and it worked. Also there is a solo method to duplicate your backpack items and I believe tag 935 is going to be making that video tutorial. I'll have his link down in the description. If you guys want to go check him out and subscribe, hopefully he'll have that tutorial up soon. But let me know if you guys have tried this and what your experience is. If you've got a Wonder Waff to duplicate, I'd love to know that. But I hope this helped you guys out and we'll see you next video.